Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Anisognagia. Schizophrenia and Anisognagia, but before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. Hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I'm not. I'm not a spring chicken. I've been around a few preludes in my many years. I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude's got something particularly luxurious, like the season, which we are on currently, autumn. Otherwise known Hello as there. my name is Robert Francis. You fall. stumbled on my unconquering schizophrenia YouTube channel. Where me and the bird. The bird is temporarily right, on vacation. So I can show you my new book. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinic. Ten of the greatest in the world on schizophrenia. Years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. Why do they call and it that fall? Great flag in my beard. Why? Why fall? Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now, now to topic. topic to, to topic. To and topic. And it's again, there's a lack of insight into Will's, one's illness, i.e. schizophrenia or bipolar, and for our purposes, schizophrenia. It has nothing to do with uh, intellectual uh, capacity, uh, some internal, internal strength. Uh, it has nothing to do about intelligence. Um, somebody who's not trying it has nothing to do with that. It just is. It's a symptom, like uh, an ache in your knee. It's the same thing. Lack of insight into one's illness. But what I find perplexing is this. There's so many people uh, that deal with schizophrenia that, is, that are unaware of this symptom. And it's in about half of the people. And uh, I always say, if you understand anisognosia, you're going to understand schizophrenia in the whole. So if you're baffled about schizophrenia, and you learn about anisognosia, believe me, you will understand uh, schizophrenia to a T. If you have insight into your illness, that means that you can manage it cognitively. If you don't, then a different approach is needed, and there are many different approaches to dealing with somebody with anisognosia. And there's strategies for people without it. But it is so, so, so important to understand. And if you understand anisognosia, the whole of schizophrenia will make much, much, much more sense. Is my number one element to schizophrenia. With its understanding, I was like, aha, Eureka, I understand it. All right. Why do they call it fall? Is it because of the leaves fall? I don't know. Maybe some guy uh, slipped on a leaf and he fell and he said, let's call it a fall. I don't know. I don't know. But fall is pretty luxurious. All right, guys, enjoy the leaves. We'll see you next time.